a brief research trip to Japan's northeast coast to witness the aftermath of the March 2011 tsunami was all that it took to persuade Yoshihiko Kuratori to build a shelter in his back garden. His home, in suburban Wakayama is just a kilometer from the stretch of Pacific coast that scientists say is likely to be struck by a powerful earthquake and tsunami in the coming decades, causing an estimated 320,000 deaths. I saw the foundations of what had once been people's homes and thought there and then, that I needed to protect myself. Kuratori said, My neighbors asked me what on earth I was doing when the diggers arrived. They thought I was wasting my money, but you can't put a price on safety. North Korea's missile test. Everything you need to know. Read more. He opened the shelter's heavy steel door to reveal a tiny room encased by steel reinforced concrete walls of up to 35 centimeters thick. The centerpiece is a Swiss-made one. 8 million yen, 12,200 pounds, ventilation unit designed to keep the shelter's occupants alive while it filters out radioactive particles and nerve gases such as VX and sarin. But today, it is the potential for a man-made disaster, not a natural calamity, that has convinced the retired teacher that he was right to part with almost 8 million yen to build the tiny shelter. Multiple missile tests conducted by North Korea this year, culminating in the launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile, have sparked alarm in Japan, and ushered in a flurry of civil defense activity not seen since the Second World War. Nine towns have conducted evacuation drills. Since North Korean missiles landed in the sea inside Japan's exclusive economic zone in March with around a dozen more expected to follow soon.